The Midnight Club is one of the newest shows to hit Netflix this month. It's a miniseries written, produced, and directed by Mike Flanagan. Based on the work by Christopher Pike, fans think that no one was better than Flanagan for the job. The show features some incredibly diverse and well-thought-out characters, some of them leaving us in tears. Let's look at who's a part of the club. Starting with number 8, Sandra. For the show's creator, it follows his previous horror show called Midnight Mass, arguably one of the best horror series of the year. Each club member has been brought over to Briarcliff Hospice to bring a peaceful end to their lives through a supportive group of people. While during the day they might be attending therapy or having fun in their free time, as soon as night comes over, they hold secret meetings in the library, sharing stories, and eventually forming the Midnight Club. A cast full of young adults poses its problems, but each character is equally valuable in love. Each of them is just as important to the plot. One of the most complicated characters out of the bunch has to be Sandra, but only because she was made that way. She's highly religious and often outspoken spoken about it, something most of the members of the club hate, especially Spence. Towards the end of the show, we find out that she plays a prank on Spence, pretending to be a previous club member who broke through the veil and could talk to them, though they planned that out for whenever someone died. She was also the only character whose terminal illness was misdiagnosed. While all the other members are happy for her, this presents the character with a turning point. A great addition since, before the reveal, she was almost annoying to most viewers. Let's take a look at Sherry, number 7. Despite Sherry having one of the biggest hearts out of any character at Briarcliff, she's a chronic liar. Most times, it was tough to figure out if she was lying or not, but her persistence to help her friends out made her a beautiful character. One of her best moments has to be when she makes a wig for Ilanka after she talks about missing her lengthy hair, along with the moment she goes with Spence to confront his mom about not visiting him. The character's parents were merely absent, but by the show's end, she realizes that her real family is the friends she makes at the hospice. Sherry is played by Adia, who's had an impressive start to her career through the show and is currently working on more projects such as Full Circle 2023. Move over, Amesh at number 6. Amesh is on this list for a good reason. The character is sarcastic and funny, but at the same time, powerful and caring. His only downfall comes from the fact that he's up against just as significant characters. He brings about some of the show's most emotional moments, as he's shown burying the suit he was supposed to die inside, stressing out about staying alive long enough to see his parents one last time before their departure and connecting with Natsuki. We can all agree that he deserved more focus, which would have massively helped him come off much better to fans. Moreover, his love story with Natsuki, both in the club and in real life, turned out to be a turning point in helping him through his illness. The character is played by Saurian Sapkota, an American actor from Nepal. His career took off with the show, and one of his future projects includes the fall of the House of Usher. Not just that, but he's also won Best Picture at the GCPL Student Film Fest two times. Additionally, at number 5, Natsuki. Natsuki and Amesh are very similar in their hearts and storytelling, but Natsuki takes the lead by telling us a story with 9 jump scares. The character starts opening up as she's telling her stories, which seems to be her preferred way to express her feelings. We see this again in a one-on-one -on -one moment with Amesh as she tells him about her suicide attempt through an emotional tale, showing her will to stay alive and her vulnerability. While her stories are just as scary throughout the show, we start seeing an emotional undertone to them. Additionally, her relationship with Amesh brings her out of her shell. Aya Furukawa plays the character. She's previously worked on commercials and print ads and had her first acting gig in 2011 for The Cabin in the Woods. However, she changed her focus to illustration because of how stressful it was for her. While the actor was living in Tokyo for two months, she was scouted by a local talent agency but was rejected since she wasn't a local. The incident again sparked her passion for acting and she signed up with her former agency. Since then, she's been working on many projects, such such as portraying Sachiko in The Terror in 2018. Similarly, Ilanka, number 4. One of the show's main characters is Ilanka, especially since she dominates the show with her screen time. However, she's incredibly stubborn and can come off as annoying. While she did try her best to save her friends, along with Anya, her reasons were selfish and she was overall disobedient. Before her arrival, the library was rarely locked and the club was never denied a chance to hold a meeting. Despite her intentions mostly being good, the character fails to realize that being nosy has its consequences. On the other hand, she's very caring and is a fantastic storyteller. One of her best stories is about a witch, showing how she wishes she could save Anya in real life as she did in her story. Though her heart and perseverance makes her a fantastic character. She's played by Iman Benson, an American actress from Atlanta, Georgia. Some of her best roles are from Uncle Buck, Black AF, and Alexa and Katie. Furthermore, at number 3, Anya. While Anya was one of the most insufferable characters from the show, she's also 
arguably the strongest out of all of them. The character fought hard to stay alive and keep her personal life to herself. Other than tiny bits and pieces she used as backdrops for her stories, we don't know much about her past. Moreover, her death is probably one of the saddest moments in the entire series, one that ripped fans' hearts out and left them wishing that she got to meet Rhett one last time. The character's friendship with Ilanka is also a heart-melting tribute to two girls that are nothing alike. Ilanka grew up with a loving family beside her, while Anya was always on her own. For both of them to bond, the character had to feel loved and supported by Ilanka, making it all the more worth our time. Anya is played by Ruth Codd, the actor based in Ireland, and is just as forthright and headstrong as her character. When she was just 15, she broke her foot, and years later, things started getting complicated for her, leading her to amputate her foot eventually. After that whole debacle, she became huge on TikTok, where Flanagan found her for her first professional role. Moving on to Kevin at number two. The character earns his high spot on our list because of his incredible storytelling and support towards Ilanka. Not just that, but he's also kind-hearted and helps Ilanka out in her pursuit to figure out the mystery behind the Paragon and Julia Jane. During the show's entirety, we see incredible chemistry between the two, but sadly, Kevin is already committed outside Briarcliff. It's a bittersweet moment when the two break up. Similarly, both were haunted by the ghosts of the older man and woman. While we never learn much about the old couple, fans who want the two characters to end up together can find peace as the ghosts that haunt them also end up together. Kevin is played by Igby Rigney, famously known for his work in F9, The Fast Saga, and Double Down South. And now in first place, Spence. He's one of the few characters from the club that's just good at everything. He's funny, caring, a good friend, a supporter, and a great sci-fi star storyteller. His first moment on screen is him taking Ilanka on a tour of the hospice. Immediately, we're greeted by a warm and welcoming face, and he does a fantastic job setting the stage for all club members. While the character does have a few differences with Sandra, mainly due to her obsession with her religion, by the show's end, he's there supporting her and her misdiagnosis, going so far as to tell her several times that he loves her. As the character finally confronts his mother about her feelings toward him and his illness, fans all cheer for him. Then, when she finally showed up, it turned into a perfect arc for the show's most robust character. William Chris Sumter plays the character and has been acting since he was 11. Some of his best work includes his first role as Tommy in the Broadway musical Matilda, along with playing young Ghost on Power Stars. The actor started working in small theater companies in New York City and training at the Professional Performing Arts School in Manhattan. That's a wrap for this video. Who's your favorite character from The Midnight Club? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.